See the top dogs strut their stuff in the final of Crufts live from 7 tonight here on BBC Two after Time Commanders. A massive Roman army lays siege to a beleaguered city. Fire rains from the skies. Huge war machines rumble up to the walls. It's a race against time for the defenders. Will they endure until help arrives, or will they succumb to the might of Rome? Tonight, a team of climbers from Suffolk, closely watched by our resident experts, find out in Time Commanders. Welcome to the show where history can take a whole new turn. Getting battle ready tonight is a team of climbers. They are sales director Chris Hutchinson, who managed to sell the idea of a climbing club to his mates in completely flat Suffolk. We're here for two reasons. One, obviously, to win, um, and two, just to enjoy ourselves. Graham Marsh, a personal trainer, who's also been a soldier, a ski instructor, a holiday rep and a barman. Very competitive person, always up for uh, a go at anything. So um, when I got the chance to go on and compete on the show, uh, it's an opportunity I had to take. When not hanging by his fingers from a precipice, Dusty Goyman can be found riding his motorbike. Uh, my aims of the day are to win and kill as many people in the game as I can. And scientist Stephen Boxwell celebrated his conquering of Mont Blanc by pole dancing in Chamonix. If I had to pick a word that would describe our team, chaotic, I think. Together, this band of thrill seekers are tonight's time commanders. Welcome to the show, guys. It's nice to have you here. What do you reckon you're going to bring to this, Chris? What special skills as a group? Uh, we work well as a team. We're yeah. all completely different from each other, all different personalities and everything else, so all different strengths and weaknesses. So together as a team, we're going to romp home. Teamwork is important. You know only two of you are going to be generals, don't you, Graham? Right, yeah. So you're going to have to... Well, the decision will be made and you'll have to work together. And who is it? Is it Dusty? Is it you that's had your hair cut especially? Yeah, they made me get rid of my fringe. <laughs> Why did you have your hair cut? Well, I had a big fringe and they made me cut it off so I couldn't see my you eyes. see, maybe you've lost your strength. I don't know. It might help. Guys, good luck this evening. All I can say is pay attention to everything you hear. Be brave and valiant and we'll find out what happens to you by the end of the show. Keeping an eye on everything that happens to these guys and every move they make will be our experts. And they are historical analyst Arik Nussbacher, senior lecturer in war studies at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst and ancient historian and author Adrian Goldsworthy. Now obviously you are all champing at the bit to get going but before you do that you need to know what battle you'll be fighting. That's what you're about to find out because your battle briefing is next from our experts. You are about to refight the battle of Sarmizagathusa. It's the year 106 and you're going to be high in the Carpathian Mountains of what is now Romania. The Roman army is led by Marcus Ulpius Trajanus, the Emperor Trajan. He's not been emperor long, he doesn't have a lot of military experience, and he's fighting this war to prove that he can command troops in the field and to bring a lot of money back to Rome. Now you're looking at Sarmigatusa, that is a very, very strong fortress. Sarmigatusa is the capital, both politically and religiously, of the very, very wealthy kingdom of Dacia. Trajan has raced deep into Dacia with a small proportion of the Roman army. He's moving very quickly because he needs to assault and take this fortress town before the rest of the Dacian army arrives. Now, team, you're going to be commanding the Roman army of the Emperor Trajan. It's the pick of all the empire, and the Roman Empire at its very height. Now, at its core are the legions, the citizen soldiers, the tough professionals who served for 25 years, very well drilled, very well disciplined, heavily equipped, very, very good in close combat. 
Trajan's also got his own bodyguard, the Praetorian Guard. He's got some of those with him. They fight much the same way as the legionaries, but they've got a lot to prove. They've got to show they're actually worth their double pay that they get. And on top of that, he's got non-citizen soldiers, foreign auxiliary infantry. Not quite so heavily equipped as the legions, but still very tough in close combat, very disciplined. The Romans also have a large cavalry detachment, and they've got a detachment of Numidian light cavalry, who are not Romans themselves, but are experts at throwing their deadly javelins when they're on the move. Now, your legionaries aren't just good at fighting people, they're all very highly trained as engineers as well. They can build and they can use siege engines. And you've got two main types of these you're going to have to deal with. The first are your artillery. The stone throwers that lob very large lumps of rock a considerable distance with great force. They can kill people, they can knock down bits of the fortification. Then you've got to get over those fortifications. You've got siege towers, big towers on wheels with a drawbridge that drops down onto the top of the wall and your men can swarm across. So our team of climbers will be the Romans, taking on the Dacians as they storm the fortress at Sar Mesogatuza. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty good. Good. Okay. The good thing is our experts are here to answer two questions and you only get two. Clearly they know everything about this. You can ask two questions, use them wisely. Ask away. Okay, we've got to obviously assault this fortress. Do you think it's best to unite all your forces in one full-on frontal assault, or is it a more effective tactic to split your forces and attack on several fronts? Some of your forces aren't going to be terribly useful assaulting a town. If a man's on horseback, you're not going to get him to ride up a ladder into it. So your cavalry are very obvious ones to be out looking around to see if anyone else is doing anything nasty. You just need to have reserves that you can use for anything unexpected, whether it's reinforce the assault or meet some other threat. Next question. What defences are they going to actually have on the wall? I mean, is it going to be like big ballistas or just bow and arrows? I mean, sort of type of things. Yes. Big ballistas and bows and arrows. Ooh. And uh, they're going to have... The characteristic architecture of Dacian fortresses includes uh, some really chunky dry stone construction topped with wooden towers designed to attack people who are trying to get up the wall. So very sturdy construction. It will be hard to take down these walls. I'll tell you one thing, this battle, if it's going to be anything, it's going to be spectacular. Right, we've got to a very important point. We've now got to decide you can't all be generals. Two of you will be fighting as captains, carrying out the orders that will be given by the other two fighting as generals. You don't make the decision, they do. We wouldn't be here if we didn't think we were going to win. Um, obviously, tie up things and can change that, but no, we're going to have a good chance of winning this. As good a chance as anybody. Chris, today, you're a general. Excellent. Steve, you are a captain. Graham, today's battle, you're going to be a general. Okay. Dusty, you are a captain. OK, we're going to win. Simple. We're not going in there with any other attitude than we're going to win. Losing just isn't an option today. So now you know. Chris, Graham, you'll be the generals. Dusty, Steve, you'll be the captains. Guys, what do you reckon? Any good? Is this going to work as a team? Fantastic. It's definitely going to work. Yeah, well, you no would worries. say that. I think you'd have sulked if you weren't a general. Well, good luck. I hope it works. Before the big one, though, we've got the skirmish, the smaller fight before the main battle. This was quite common, actually. A lot of battles started like this, and it's good news for you because it's an opportunity to learn. And our experts are going to tell you what to expect. Your army is approaching this fortress at a brisk pace. You know that outside the fortress there is a covering force designed to delay the approach of your main force. Your job in this skirmish is to clear that covering force away from these walls. Once you've got them out of the way, that ground is yours. And then you've got the space and the territory. You can bring up your siege towers, you can bring up your artillery, and you can really have a go. And that's it from the experts, because Eric and Adrian go upstairs now. They'll be watching from above to see how you do. They are pretty critical, I warn you. What's your plan? March up there. And... March up there and find out what's waiting for us. Take him out. Get stuck in, see what happens. You've got to take the plunge. Sun time. <laughs> Let's see what you're made of. Let's have a fight. We're off. Go. Good luck, go guys. Down, go. OK, go check out what you've got there, guys. Right, what have we got here, then? Uh, okay, got the enemy are already on their way out, and they're not coming to say hello. 
It looks like the Dacians are not, waiting. not messing about. Well, it's probably better. The Dacians are not waiting a bit. They're they might charging as well give them an right idea down of what the like doors. Yeah. Because they may well they will have to cope with the relieving army at some point. Get him forward, get him up there. Wait. No, just just advance them forward. Just don't advance let your troops attack forward. them. Don't let them attack us, yeah? The players themselves don't have any archers. They've got no missile troops at all other than very short-range javelin equipped cavalry. So they really don't want to get into a missile exchange with the archers on the walls. There's, so they've got there's to nothing get in, in it. Very close, very quickly. Get in close quickly, get rid of this stuff, drive it off or kill it, and then you've dominated this area. You can approach the city, you can get on with the assault proper. You can see the Dacians waiting there at the top of the hillside. It's a sign of confidence. They've come outside their walls and they're willing to stop the Romans outside, or at least slow them down. You right, Dust? Yeah, no worries, dude. OK, just Chris, they've got archers up on the walls there, so don't get drawn too close yeah, to but the... Um... Yeah, but they're not going to go any further than that. They're going to build a battle line and defend that area, aren't they? We should be at a range there. Exactly. They're defending the place. They're going to get someone to stop, aren't they? They're not okay. going to come out to us. Happy what you got to do over there, Dust? No, can't we stop making them come out to us? No, they won't. Them? Would you? No, no. They're not I wouldn't. The main thing is, right, our cavalry, start, right. our cavalry needs to hit their infantry at speed and just yeah. bust the heck into them. I don't know why. I was expecting chaos, but actually, they're kind of measured, they're communicating, they're doing well. Just chill them out, because there's no rush. Remember, once you're in battle, see if you can get some troops around the back of them, yeah? The back of the horses. Dust? Hang on. That's right, Graham, so Graham is there working with Adam, trying to sort out what their view on the big screen is. And Chris is looking forward, coming back to the map table. And both of these captains, both of these captains are quietly going on with them. Look, the Dacian cavalry is seizing the opportunity to attack. Can you jog, can you jog the infantry up? Can you jog the infantry up a bit now? The Roman cavalry, though, have got superior numbers. And over there on the right, their second unit are charging the rest of the Dacian cavalry. They're overwhelming that small Dacian cavalry unit. It's overkill, but as long as they don't get too distracted, that doesn't really matter. OK, let's get, the f get them in. Get them in. If they can get the Dacians to fight out in this plane, all the better for the Romans. Oh. That's not such That's a good idea. They've taken their cavalry and buried it. Now we see the Roman legionaries steaming into the attack, the best close combat troops in the world. They've got their heavy shields towards the enemy, and they're not just protection, they punch with these to knock the man down, then stab him in the stomach. Take that flank. Okay, good, good. Take nice one, Dust. Okay, have we got anyone spare? Is there anyone spare, you guys? Have you got right, we're engaged in two places. We've got a heck of a lot of troops over here. So it's just a static battle now, yeah? Yeah. We've got a lot of troops over on the right there. We've basically got two skirmishes going on, Chris. I think they're going to I know, in. I know, it's good. It's going they well. Are. We've basically got our legions are just smashing these lots of bits. How's that big legion there's doing? Okay, cool. What yeah, happened there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's let's it. pull this cavalry out. out. Right, let's, that cavalry can disengage now. Let our legions just get stuck if into they're running, If they run away, run them down with uh, your horses. Don't okay. turn around and move them over to the left. <laughs> The team's cavalry have disengaged there on the left to try to get round behind the Dacians, but they gotta be careful as they get close to the walls of the town, because oh, otherwise, oh, well, that is unpleasant. Right, Run arrows are coming from the hills. Don't get too close to the walls, because the arrows are coming I've in. lost all my horses. You lost all of them? That's yeah, they just ran off because the boat's died. OK, right, see if stuck you can in. back up yeah, the over there in. on the left. Miss, right. Go, Let's go. Back him up. I don't know where up at the end. Let's get those guys over to back him up. Apart from you losing your horses, Dusty, how's the battle going? I've just got my foot soldiers left. All right, we're sending some cavalry over to reinforce you, Dust, so you should be all right. I think it's OK. I want the cavalry coming from the back, if I can. Here they come. Right. 
get, charge him in, charge him in the back. Okay, have we got anybody else left alive? Oh, nice. Now, there might be a bit of blue on blue there, I think. It, 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 it did look like Roman... They did very much look like Roman Peeler going into those Roman legionaries and cavalry. Oh, get stuck in. I like that. That's some good fighting. Here we've got really brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Romans using their gladius, short sword, good for cutting and thrusting, high-quality steel, very nasty piece of kit. That's looking good. Right, look, we're looking all right at the minute. OK. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think we've got the upper hand here at the minute. They're overwhelming the defenders now. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. It looks like whatever Dacians that can are starting to disengage and run away there, so that, that's over. I see some horses just over there that don't seem to be doing anything. Okay. And that's the end, guys. Come back to the table, please, team. Well done, guys. Good job. That was very, well done, very guys. impressive. Well done. You were organised. It was textbook <laughs> stuff. Are you pleased? Yeah. Please. That was yeah, going definitely. Well. I, that was I enjoyed that. That's good. But don't be smug. The team seems to be working really well together here at Sarmazigathusa. You notice that the generals are shouting occasionally, but the captains are remaining extremely calm. One thing that does worry me, though, is the way they handle their cavalry. They are sending cavalry in and are letting the cavalrymen just sort of fight it out, standing up with infantry. It shows me that they don't really know how to handle their troops on the ground yet. So the whole idea of your skirmish was that you learned from it. What have you learned? Communication. It's going to be really important for us. Absolutely. It's going to be crucial in the battle to come. Well, generals, a present for you. This is your army. You're only going to get one of those. Don't waste it. You've got some planning time now. Use it. OK. The gateway looks like the obvious vulnerable spot. You know, it's wood, it's not stone. But the defenders know that, so they're going to have a lot of stuff there waiting for you, so it might well be wise to stay clear. Do you hear the first thing he said was, we're going to stay away from the, the gate. gate. So they maybe have I learned they're, that. They're worried about a sally, large force of cavalry mm. inside. Mm. Uh, you don't want to be there. Well, it's, you've got to be careful. The Dacian screening force has been cleared away from the walls of the town in that skirmish. The team can now bring up the whole Roman army to lay siege to the walls of that city. OK, guys, that's your planning time up. Captains, I hope you're ready. I hope you know what you're doing. Generals, what's your plan? OK, Briefly. what we think, Rich, is we've got to get in fast. Yep. So we're going to concentrate all our artillery on one section of the castle, uh, the fortress, from the right side, the aim being to smash a wall down um, as quick as possible. In standby, we're going to have the legions with the ladders legions behind. So, so if we keep these circling around, the horses and stuff, any reinforcements come, okay. they, can in, they can get in with the reinforcements. So you're not sending the down. cavalry into the walls, you're using them to mop they're up not to do keep anything. an eye out. No, exactly. of course they're not. We're, we're going to keep, keep our cavalry uh, in a, like a screen yeah. roll. Well, They'll just slow your down. plan <laughs> sounds great, Hopefully. generals. Let's see how it unfolds, because it's time. It's spring, 106 AD, and the fortress walls are awaiting our team playing the Romans. Let battle commence. OK, open fire, guys. OK, guys, let's get our, our, our artillery needs to be moved up first. Keep them out of archer range for us. I've got a good idea of what the team wants to do. They're going to yes. hit the wall just to the right of that gate. There's a tower there, which, means, which they're going to have to concentrate their fire on. That one in the corner one, probably. But that's right where they want to hit, right about there. Right, let's get them up there as quick as possible. Can we form the legions up? This is very similar to the opening of their skirmish. It's a very methodical, measured approach, and that's a good thing. They're going to come up through the gap that our artillery creates. Siege towers let them move up in their own time because they're dead slow. Of course, on the Roman approach, as they're, they're coming into Dacia, what do they see as the, uh, the signposts along the way? They've got the, the heads of, of the Roman soldiers who died on the, the previous expedition. And that, that's not just a warning, of course. 
stars because it, it shows that that if you if you die here instead of being put on a, a pyre as, as a Roman would expect your your body will be desecrated and, and uh, for a, a, a superstitious or, or religious Roman depending on how you look at it that's quite the frightening thought isn't it so major and Eric what do you reckon to their plan I, I think their plan is is it's sound it could be better if, for instance, they had attacked a corner rather than a, a side of the wall. It right. could have been better. Well, you were talking about a secondary attack. I think so. I think you want to draw some of the Dacians away, make them guess which is your main assault. Everything's going in one spot, which is good, yeah. but they know where you're coming. Right. You so they're all going to be waiting for you. So Whereas they're just they, going to slug it out. Yeah. Case. There's no clever diversion. They've got enough towers. Even just send a few blokes with ladders around the far corner in the hope they might get lucky. I wouldn't want to be one of the blokes. No, but you don't have to be. You're the general. You're very. <laughs> okay, but well, we we'll see how it unfolds. Very methodical start, though, isn't it? Very oh nice. yes. Yeah. Very methodical, yep. and this is a technician battle so mm. that's a really appropriate mm. approach for the so team. at this very early stage what it's promising the cavalry the, the idea of a cavalry screen is a good idea too so yeah Happy well, well work. you're only saying that because they listen to your advice and it makes you feel good <laughs> I think they're getting ready to fire are these ones firing now oh, look at that that's the incendiary ammunition so they are going Come in. Fire. oh it's a bit short dropping short dropping yeah. short oh. What are you doing? You just made a hole in the ground. Steve, Steve, get a little bit short. Just move them Well, you know the range now anyway, right. so they've got to move them a little bit further forward. Let's see if we can... Uh... Ah, there they go. So now they're dropping incendiaries into town. Nice. Yeah, just get in their range. Fine, no problem. Let's go. What are going to do when we get this wall blasted down then? We'll just send them in. Yeah, so where's the heavy infantry? Yeah, from the, um, you guys, Dusty the and Steve, can you move your legions close together so like one nice Yeah, I'm on my way over to Steve. OK, cool. cool. Also, have you left any in reserve yet of yeah. your legions? Let's keep some in reserve, Let's yeah? not form them all because no. we don't want to overcommit. Steve, Steve let's keep, do you want to keep two of your today. legions in reserve for the time being? How are those siege engines doing? There's a lot of reload time on these, uh, on these ballista, these, uh, the, the onagers. They were heavy, clumsy weapons. I mean, they're not like modern quick-firing artillery, but they were worth it. I mean, they, they're called Onager, the wild ass. They've got a dreadful recoil, but they do fire a very heavy missile, and the momentum of that will sweep anyone aside. There are lots of gruesome stories of what it did to you if it actually hit you. The, um, oh, yeah, like that. Oh, that's unpleasant. Oh, nice. OK, guys. What's going to happen, right? We're going to keep bombing this wall. I want legions formed up ready, siege towers ready. Okay, yeah. I think we can move the siege towers up. I think we should. We're not going to use them. We might as well use them for target practice. Yeah. Captains, move our siege towers <laughs> up towards the wall. Well, as long as they get hit and not the Somebody's got to push them. No. They're expendable. Here are the Roman siege towers. Big wooden constructions, probably made from trees from those very forests we see in the background. That looked like stone missiles rather yeah. than incendiaries. So that can mean that what they're trying to do at this point is prepare that wall for assault yeah. by destroying its defences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hit at the tops of the towers, hit at the parapets, knock it all down. Make it impossible for the defenders to stay up there and contest what you're doing. Can we keep the, uh, just keep the Can we move the hole? Look at that hole in the wall you've opened up. That's fantastic. Look at that. Just keep pounding it, just keep hitting it. Dust, Steve, Steve. Can you move Dust your back a bit? Dust, can your onagers, are they firing now? Yeah, they're firing now, but okay. they're firing on the other side. Dusty's yeah. onagers are firing. OK, good. And now the defenders know exactly yeah. where the team is That's, coming. They're back. committed now. Dust, back, 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 seriously, we want more further. distance. Right. What, just the horses? Just Dusty. the horses, guys, bring them back. Yeah. Yeah. Dust, who's got the archers? Right, the catapults have got the range now. They're keeping on hitting the gate, but they're also firing incendiary missiles over the walls into the town itself. Sarmagatuza is taking a real pounding. Move these up, move them up, move them up. Get them up. slingers up there. More to the right, more to the right-hand side, Nate. More to the right-hand side. Slingers? Yeah, get them up by the wall. Up. Fine. Move the slingers up. No, we just save the slingers for later. Look, we need some defense. Yeah, but that we wall's... from the back, we're going to want some defense, yeah? Just... Yeah, but that wall's all made through. Huh? Right-hand side, Dusty, that's a bad Yeah, aim for the same, yeah, for aim for the same area. OK, where are we looking at there? Some Roman sieges seem to be designed to starve out the occupants of the town. That's not really an option for Trajan here, is it? He hasn't got the time. If this fails, and if he can maintain himself in this position, then the next thing they do is build a wall all the way around surrounding the city and make sure no one ever gets out. The circumvallation. It, yes, wall of circumvallation. And it sends a very, very clear message. You've walled yourself in to make yourself safe. 
They've walled you in so that you are going to die. They will get you in the end. It may take time, but the Roman army is not okay, going away. He's got the top of the wall there. Let's just have a look at right. that again. Can you get us to the top of the fortress again, uh, Adam? Just show us what, what we had there. Oh, fire arrows going in on the siege tower. That's their weakness. Their timber, they haven't had time to coat them with metal plates or with hide, something that will make them resistant to fire. They need them. They're expendable. Let me get this straight, then. You are drawing fire deliberately with those siege towers. You're right. OK, Chris, we've got fire. It's worth it's, sending it's, those... It's, it's, it's not just wood, it's people Chris, pushing if it. If you look at it, you've got, like, what, maybe 10 guys pushing it, they might die, or you've got a whole legion who might die from the fire. Could have been a mate of yours pushing it. Oh, hey, we've okay. got fire arrows. They haven't done much yet to these archers. They're just allowing them to shoot. It's almost as if they're sacrificing that tower. Well, they, well, or just hoping it'll get through. Be ah, now they're starting no, to help they them. They're starting to put, put stone in. Uh, so missiles in against that wall, and that can take off the defensive works on the top of the wall, exposing the arch. Mm. It can even knock the arches off like that spectacularly. Oh, barbecue. Stones from catapults were very big, powerful missiles, but they were visible. At the Siege of Jerusalem in AD 70, they were quarried locally from the stone there, which is light-coloured. So the defenders could see the Roman catapult stones coming, and they'd yell out, babies on the way, and duck down. So the Romans, cunning fellows that they were, painted their stones dark, and then the defenders couldn't see them, they just got hit. If you did get hit, the consequences were appalling. One historian tells us about a man standing next to him having his head knocked off and the head flung for about 200 yards. All right, here's the first siege tower going in. And you see that the tower has got the height to take the soldiers right up to the sec, and they've just destroyed the section of wall that they're about to assault. That's really poor coordination. Waste of time. You need to spread your attacks to spread the defenders thin. Let's get legions over Let's get him through that hole, man. I want another hole. We're going. OK, then. <laughs> OK. Let's get some. Are you not happy with that? I'd rather wait a little bit longer, but hey, death or glory. All right, now they're taking some of the legionaries away from that siege tower to, uh, to go into the breach. They've got to be careful going so close to the wall. Remember what happened to the skirmish? They're very exposed here. Yeah. There we go again. Let's get that second siege tower. Let's get that, those siege towers up at the wall where we've um, knocked it down already so we can get our guys on the top of the wall. I've got uh, guys with ladders as well. Right, now they seem to have left that tower there without bothering to move it up to the stretch of wall right next to it. Do you suppose they might have abandoned the siege tower? It looks rather as if they have. Yep. And they've destroyed that siege tower with their own artillery. They've got two significant breaches in the wall, but there's nobody there to exploit them. And this is a big problem. The assault troops are way too far away. Mm. They're going to have to run, and it's going to be a race against time as the Dacians repair the breach in their walls. And going up a breach, charging into a city, is one of the hardest things any soldier can do in this period or a lot of later periods. We've got two breaches in the wall already. Okay. They're just coming up in ordinary formation, which is quicker, but a lot more dangerous. And where are their supports? Being a bit timid, they could just get stuck in. Oh, hang on. Move them up, push up. Let's go for a full-on assault now. Come on. And those are Dacian Faltzmen with the famous two-handed curved sword. Very nasty weapon that can penetrate even heavy armor or can reach around your shield, lop off your arm, do all sorts of things. We've got evidence for the Romans actually wearing extra armor, reinforcing the top of their helmets just to withstand the fans. OK, wait a sec. There's some movement over there in the forest out to the west of town. Now, this could be the Dacian relief army. Oh. Chris, eyes right. There's a unit coming in from the right-hand side. Where? Yeah, look at that plume of dust. So there is the rest of the Dacian army. Some of them are inside the walls, of course, but Trajan did not move fast enough to avoid the rest of the Dacian army. If these guys are not driven off pretty sharpish by the team, it's going to go poorly indeed. Well, look at this. Mm. So There's that a lot of them. That's a strong force. OK, Stephen. Yeah. Stephen, right. Stephen, to your right. You've got units coming to your right. 
I want that cavalry into them. That's it. Right. Charge them in and slow them down. We do not want them to... Glad they spotted that. That could have been very, very nasty. Hopefully they can do something about it. OK, okay. Uh, uh, send the mercenaries well. in with the legions. Yep, do that and, and bring yep. any spare units to the yeah. yeah. Dusty, yeah. Dusty, yeah. bring your horses over to the right-hand side. You want them over? You want one set? <laughs> OK, team, hold on a second. This is a pause. This is a chance to gather your thoughts. Everybody back up here. Well done, guys. Right, we've got two breaches right. so far, yeah? We've got two yep. key... This review, we've got two key breaches. Where we've got enemy troops coming in on the right-hand side. We need to deal with them They somehow. cannot join the battle. Yeah. We've got to keep them Who away from the battle. I think you're being a bit timid. Cos I think you're doing very, very well. I think you need to... Yeah, exactly, Dusty. You can't say that. Men are always having problems with commitment. Mm. And I think these men have a serious commitment problem. Because that's the thing. It's all very well getting over the wall. You have actually got to capture the city. The Dacians aren't just going to give up as soon as you've got through their wall. It's their home. It's their capital. It's their centre. And the alternative is death or, or slavery in Rome. Having a family raped. I mean, it's not much fun. 30 seconds, right. Steve's we've saying that because they're... Reserve a... legionnaires. We've got a, uni uni uh, reserve unit of legionaries here and we've got cavalry here. We'll charge them in. 20 and, seconds. And hopefully that will cause the damage. I'll send a load of my horses Dusty's over to yours. Bring his horses over as reinforcements. <laughs> Better get ready. We're off. Get down there, guys. Can Good we luck. get our artillery onto them? Uh, oh, nice thinking, Batman. Can we get our artillery on... Uh, <laughs> not all artillery. Get right, your Steve. Artillery on you're the right side. Can you see how it works? Yeah, go for it. Let's yeah. get our artillery onto yeah, their doing units. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Can you do that? And am I saying, being harsh if I say they were being a bit timid? Or, or what? No, you're right. No, you're right. They started to dribble people through the breach that they'd made in the wall there. And at the same time, they had other people poised to go over another section of wall. That's exactly the kind of subsidiary attack that Adrian is advising yeah, earlier. So they should have just yeah. gone in with yeah. that other lot. They should have gone in with somebody. And then all they do is they dribble in a few legionaries and then dribble in a few more. Where's the rest of the army? So if they win, who's going to support them? What do you think? At this point, I'm concerned that they might not get inside those walls before the rest of the Dacian army piles in to stop the siege in its tracks. Just charge them in. Let's have a look at the Dacians. It's quite a tough force. Now, the Romans have got a few cavalry. They kept on talking about The team have always said, we're aware of this. Our cavalry will be out screening us. The cavalry doesn't seem to be doing a lot cavalry at the moment. are not there. The cavalry are just standing there. Everybody's just standing there. And the assault Oop, seems to They're starting their rush. It's a bit of an uphill climb, yeah. but it's not that I far. Mean, these Dacians are getting pretty close. Let's see if they're going to do something soon. They've got a, they're going to have real trouble on their hands. Roman cavalry is starting to react, but I'm afraid it's too late. That's right. Cavalry can't afford to just stand still. The Roman cavalry are taking some really heavy losses here. This is not good for the team. It's a lot of dead cavalry. Put our artillery off yeah, of those lot now, because our guys are in the middle of a scrap. Right, yeah, and, um, Steve, stop our artillery, because they're just mauling our own people at the minute. Stop, stop artillery. the artillery. OK, change it. Have we sent stop one of our artillery cavalry. firing um, over to, the, to that side, and, 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 because they're just killing our own folks at the minute. The team are diverting a lot of their main force to try and block that Dacian counterattack. Which is a pity, because it's happening just as they're getting through that breach. At the moment, they've stopped, though. Why are they the waiting? The have stopped and they're just standing in this town. Those have actually turned around to face to the rear. Oh. They're getting shot by archers up on the wall. Why are they waiting? None of those legionaries have got missile weapons, then. If you just stand there, they're going to keep shooting you. Come on, guys, there's people just hanging around inside the city. What are they doing? Right, you guys in the city, move them. Right. You've got some cavalry doing nothing, just over here, seriously. They're steaming in from behind. Okay, we're being attacked from behind. Butcher you. 
guys are being attacked from behind there, look. Don't waste this now, it was so get good. Get into the city, get all your troops in there. And don't go shopping when you get in, do something. Go in there, get, I want all these guys fighting. Honestly, they breach the walls, they get in, they send troops in, and then they just loiter about. Isn't it nice? Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Reinforce those yeah. guys. Or... Chris, step back a minute, look, we're getting too close. Chris, look at the table here, there's a big load of their army just mauling through ours at the minute. Well, I was told that battle's going on right, so that's what I'm not worried about. Can, get, get can someone sort out the cavalry? They're, I'm not controlling them, they're just sitting there and we're can we being... Attack? Can we get them to attack? We can do, but they're not, not my cavalry. Just... <laughs> right, cavalry's attacking. Right, can you send them? Where is it? What's Where's Steve? Want the cavalry? Let's give him some assistance. Get Where's Steve? Want the cavalry? Steve, where do you want the cavalry? Get them into the breach. They're in front of the wall. In front of the wall. They're there. Move them inside then. <laughs> the team is in rag order here. They really need to get their eyes together. Right, they're in, because that's Steve's guys. Yeah. Right, hit them. <laughs> OK, you've got to pause. You've got to pause. I really would advise you to get to that map table and do some thinking. Right, they're in. OK, this, this is a real yeah. problem for us, right? Well, yeah. Steve Rector's going all right. We're pretty much we've got we're in. Right. Yeah, Steve, you're confident with that. Yeah. They're all gone. As far as I know, Steve, okay. they're all gone on your right hand side. Right, right. we've got troops up on the walls. We've got yeah. troops inside the city. We need to push what now. Are looking in. At? There, are they are. Well, you've got 30 yeah. seconds. Okay. Okay. No, they're coming over. They're now going to attack. We've captured the towers. Let's get them into the city. Let's go find their king and kill him. Let's get in there and do it. Don't waste it. You did so well. Keep it going. Now, Come think about it. He's going to be at the back there somewhere as well. Yeah, I think it's all done. Okay, Chris, let's put Steve. Steve's going to deal with that fire. You know, encouragement there. Dusty? Ten seconds. Dusty, you're in charge of the guys inside now. Cheers, Dad. So we were going to get those people inside. Much right. like we don't need those anymore. Can I take those people off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move them as well. Steve, if you need reinforcements, shout, them. yeah? All right, so the team is focused on pouring their soldiers into Sarmizagathusa. And with that weight, the tide might just be starting to turn in their favour. The mission is, and we heard him say it, go in there, find their king and kill him. Mm. Now, this is a big problem. Yeah. Because it's not a village. This is quite a big fortress town. Yeah. And if I were going to take any bets as to where the king was, I'd say he's at the centre of that mob of Dacian soldiers. People have tried to kill Decebalus before as well. He's still there. He's been on the throne for over 20 years. You know, he's a, he's a survivor. Can we have a look inside? Um, let's get these guys moving. They Why? can't. They're falling in there, aren't they? Actually, okay, you can. We're running away. Um, right. Have you scouted the city properly? Do you know what's in there? Graham, do you know what you're going to find? No, we're not sure yet. Listen, well, look. Adam, can you maybe you should. Somebody else to look around the city. Send them know. into the back of the city. Good man, good man. Okay, good man. Chris. Chris. Hold on, hold on. Looking at the main screen. Here's our opposition inside right, the city. Get them going down the main street. Right, and they've got, they've got artillery as well. Yeah. Slight danger here. If they get so caught up now in the fight in the city, they're going to forget the fight outside of the city, forget to guard their rear. They'll be snuck up on. Still, that'd be fun. Basically, we've got the main street. They've got in the middle. They've got a big fighting force. Yeah. We've got one lot going up the main street. The other's going up parallel. They're coming at right angle. You are doing well, but you haven't won yet. Don't forget the walls can still be dangerous places. Yeah. So if you confront them and start fighting, you want to take them on as front boys. Right. You take them on front boys. Take this straight up front. Is he up there? Don't do it too piecemeal fashion. If you've got two lots of troops, send them both in at the same time so they hit at the same time. Right, do it. Yeah. yeah, I've got one lot going up the side. Can we do that? So they hit both their arrows. Dusty, you've got to move it in the gateway on the left-hand side there. It looks like Steve has very quietly mopped up the Dacian forces outside the city walls. That's right, and that means that the team can now put all of their combat power into that city. Okay, Here we go. Horse cavalry. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, into the streets, Charlie. Can these cavalry guys oh, go around to your right? Yeah, up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Steve's now coming into there, yeah? Now there's so, fighting there. They are getting stuff around. They are trying to come around from more than one direction. But there's a lot of Dacians still there fighting. And a lot of disconnected street fighting. And, and but that unit does seem to be coming around behind those Dacians. That might be more, more dangerous. And they seem to be falling back upon themselves in this, in this main road battle. So it's de degenerated into a series of battles with the town burning around them. And that's no bad thing for the Romans here. And that's street fighting in any period. It's not over by any means. They could still lose from here.
It looks like there's a group of horsemen in the central square. That must be King Decebalus. Like a rat in a trap. Oh, come on! Well, <laughs> We've got the king over here. We're um, good. Are we going to win it? Yeah. We're fighting over there. Okay, we've got says, the king. Says, uh, Victory is ours! Victory imminent. Well, this is a good sign. Though the Dacian king, Decebalus, has been killed in the crowded streets with all those combats going on, a lot of people don't know about this yet. So the Dacians are still fighting in many places. Well, we had a lot of large units, but no, a lot of very small units. Yeah. Yep. That is some good mopping up going. Yeah, it's really good. Through, just, just pummel them. Now they're the last Dacians at bay. It's got to be over now. They either get killed here, or become a slave, and maybe end up dying in the Colosseum. You are victorious. Yes! Whoa! You did it! Come on! Well done. <laughs> Back up to the table, guys. Come on, team. Generals, captains. Steady boy. I just have to play with Steve's back. Well done. Great job, captains. <laughs> back to the table. Oh, Fantastic. Come on. Well done. Well done. That was not an easy fight, but... <laughs> so, captains, generals, how do you feel? Awesome. Brilliant. Yeah. Good now. That was Excellent. quite a bit. They're buying us a drink. That was quite yeah, a you bit. Guys awesome. well you guys did very well. You guys were brilliant. It you wasn't did... all your way all the time. You there were moments. Nice but seriously. it was good. It nice. was good stuff. You took the enemy general in his own city. So, well done. Eric, Adrian, victory. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't perfect. There were a lot of things that went wrong along the way, but there's two main things to remember. First of all, in the end, you won. And that's all the Romans care about. Doesn't pay to be a heroic loser, you've got to win. The second point is related to that. Because you won, you get to tell the story. Now, Trajan's gonna tell it as if everything went absolutely smoothly and perfectly all the way through, even if there were a lot of wobbles on the way. And there were wobbles along the way. When you had one breach in the wall and you send some legionaries in there, they were just standing there. For a while they were fighting for their lives and then for a while they were just standing there. And you know that in every one of their minds they're thinking, guys, guys oh, there's nobody behind us, yeah? Where's the rest of the Roman army? So there was a lot of hesitancy early on, but you sorted that out, didn't you? And once you had a breach through the gate, wham, you were in there. And the fact remains, they won. How did it happen in reality? I mean, how might they have done it differently? Show us what happened in the real battle. Right, I'll take the town, you take okay. the Romans. I have to come in between you, I'm afraid. Eric, you've got a bucket, mate. This bucket. is a fortress. Bucket. And inside my fortress is my garrison. Lots of cavalry that I use to control the surrounding countryside. And I've got all kinds of defenders, and I got archers, and they're all going to defend this, Bucket. my fortress. All right. <laughs> now, what the Romans would have done, which you didn't manage to do quite so well at first, was when this stuff goes in, when the towers are there, there's men ready to support them. A lot of your supports were a long way back. Now, you need stuff to cover, but you need stuff to get in. Now, when we get in, we don't faff about. As soon as we're there, men take control of the breach. They make sure no one can approach it from either side. Others are pushing out quickly into the streets. And in the end, the population of the town are massacred. The Romans take the remainder back to Rome for a triumph because the rest of the Dacian army don't even get a look in. The Romans are able to be quick, in, out, and home. End result the same. They took the fortress, and so did our team for this week. So Adrian, Eric, thank you very much as our experts. Well done, team. You did it. You have been watching Time Commanders. After the siege, Sarmigatusa is abandoned. Trajan will build his own new capital for the Roman province of Dacia. It's called Sarmigatusa, but Sarmigatusa Ulpia, named after himself. This is the last great conquest the Romans make. In very many ways, it's the high watermark of the Roman Empire. Well, he's a busy bloke, that Richard Hammond. We join him live for the big night at Crufts next, and later tonight, a vision of a ticking volcanic time bomb, Super Volcano, on BBC One and Two.